Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here. In this video, we're going to be talking about GTA 5 Cunning Stunts. Now, I actually played this for the first time very recently, a little bit later than, uh, than a lot of other people have been playing it, but nonetheless, really enjoyed it. Um, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts and some insight on what I think of the DLC itself, what I think of the update itself, and what I think of how everything works and these tracks and these cars. First of all, this was my first ever race uh, in, in Cunning Stunts, and I think I did pretty decently considering it was my first time out. Now, keep in mind also, I haven't been playing GTA 5 that much lately because GTA 5 got a little bit boring to me. And the, the Cunning Stunts is definitely a, a way that I can see of myself getting back into the game. Um, I can see myself really spending some time in the game because of it. Um, it reminded me a lot, obviously, of Trackmania, but at, at the end of the day, it's not quite its not quite the same as Trackmania. It doesn't feel like a rip-off of Trackmania by any means. I mean, inspired by, yes. Rip-off, no. Definitely not. I think it's, it's you got to look at it from more of the standpoint of they've done something really unique and creative here that we haven't seen in GTA and um, that we've never seen in GTA 5 before. And I think it adds a certain amount of of just fun and are kind of like just that arcade fun to the game and I felt so bad when that guy hit the wall I was like dude I am so sorry I am so sorry dude I, I did not mean to do that to you anyways we've also got these like the way they've got the track structure you got these boost strips obviously you've got some stretches of track that are full 360 you can drive upside down you can drive on the walls you can drive wherever you want and it just again makes it feel very very arcadey yes in a way but at the same time, that's not a that's not a problem. I don't have a problem with that. I think a lot of people they go and they say, "Oh, I got a problem with this. Oh, I got a problem with that." Honestly, if you look at Cutting Stunts for what it is, you're just gonna enjoy it and you're just gonna have fun, and it's not really gonna be something that's technically a problem. You can't see my air quotes, but like a lot of people have quote unquote problems with updates in GTA, depending on whatever you know whatever they are, because they think that's not what the game should be about, or that's not how they should have done it. I think I look at something like Cunning Stunts more along the lines of the fact that they did not have to make this. They did not have to put this in the game, but they did. And it's that's more what matters to me is the fact that they actually put this in the game and they were like, hey, so you want to uh, race on roller coaster style Hot Wheels tracks in Grand Theft Auto? Okay, have it. You know what I mean? They're just like, oh, here, have it and enjoy yourself, and I, I love that fact. I love the fact that they really uh, went all out with it. Now this particular jump, I learned the hard way that you should really not try to overcorrect the car, because if you do, it'll start to rotate on you, and then you'll get into this tank slapper in midair, and then you'll blow up. And it sucks, because you'll lose like all of the ground you gained, and you will not be in first place anymore, and you'll get thrown all the way back to ninth, and you'll be miserable, absolutely just miserable, and you'll be like, that, that's, see the thing is, that's when people start to hate cutting stunts, is when they fall off the track and they blow up and they get sent back to the last, uh, to last position, and they're like, good thing you didn't hate this game. So, look at it a for a little bit more than that and you'll really start to enjoy it. Now, there's three races in this video. This first race was definitely, definitely the biggest learning curve out of the three because it was my first one. I mean, it's going to be the biggest learning curve out of the three. But they, I love how each race is structured slightly differently, and the tracks are set up really well. They're set up really nicely balanced, and it doesn't feel like any certain type of car has a massive advantage over the other. Sure, there are going to be some cars that are faster than others, but it's not like you're never going to be able to make a jump unless you have a fully maxed out Turismo R or whatever. I mean, it, or, you know, or whatever your your chosen supercar is. But after you, after you get to the finish line, you're put into the spectator mode as you would normally be um, in a GTA race. And the thing about the spectator modes is the fact that they don't really, the people don't really get that long to finish the race. So it's not like you're going to be waiting there for a while. You wait there for like, you know, a few seconds at max. But by the time that's, you know, by the time that's through, you're going to be moving on to the next race and you, you will have forgotten about the fact that you finished in like ninth place. <laughs> and you generally will be, you'll generally lose that, that anger that you had last time. Now I decided to try out a different car. This car is, is really cool. It actually reminds me a lot of the 787B. Reminds me a lot of, kind of almost like the Rothmans Porsche. But, you know, it reminds me of like a lot of different cars from that era. But anyway, once you get started on a track, 
it's kind of interesting to feel it out because some tracks are like totally based on the drop. If if it's got a drop, like some of these tracks are like just boom, drop, massive, and it's like the more you the more tracks you play, the more you'll learn to not not take out other people along the way. But no, the more tracks you play, the more you'll get into kind of like a rhythm with how they mix up these tracks. And because a lot of these a lot of these tracks will either have flowing turns or they'll have these like long 90 degree turns, which they're both kind of they both kind of got their own little challenge to them. These are a little bit trickier if you're going into them full speed and if you're going into them like three wide. If you're going into these like three wide, you better be ready because th th that can get a little hairy if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you go into one of these three wide or one of these areas where the track tightens and you got three cars, somebody, somebody is going down. And the thing is you can also use the chaos to your advantage. If you try to press way up to like, if you try to always push through the pack, then that's not always the best strategy. Because if you, if you try to push through the pack all the time, then that can kind of, not only will it mess you up, but it will also kind of get you into this like, this battle with the other players. Let them take each other out, and then you just sneak right on ahead in first place, you know, and be on your, be on your way. So that's what I, that's what I personally recommend, and that's the strategy that I like to use. And speaking of, speaking of strategies and challenges, First person view, doing one of these races completely in first person view is a hell of a challenge and you'll see that in the next race where there's a lot more uh, loops and stunts and tricks and stuff like that, but the biggest thing with that is the fact that a lot of the times in first person you can't see the other side of a loop and some of these loops corkscrew, so it's very, very hairy once you get into first person view, it's crazy. But it's nothing you can't handle, it's just like something that you have to make sure that you're prepared for so that you don't set yourself up in first person view and then like not see the track and then mess up everywhere. So definitely if you're just getting used to it, I recommend doing it in third person because in third person at least you'll get the, the feel of the tracks first instead of moving into first person and just jumping straight in and be like, holy shit, what do I do? So again, it's a trade-off. And it's all about what you want to do, kind of what makes you uh, more comfortable with the race. But it's going to be fun either way. That's the thing, is it's always going to be fun. I made a mistake here, spun out and hit the, or hit the wall and spun out. I was able to pick it back up, though. I remember, I feel like in this race there was something that happened. Oh, oh, you guys will see what happens. It's, 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 I won't spoil it, but it looks like we're going to win, right? I've been in first for a while, just kind of chilling. It looks like you're gonna win. Oh, but no, 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 no. The, the, yeah, the mythical powers of uh, GTA's drafting system kind of screwed me a little bit on this race because we were doing fine, doing fine, doing fine, and then we get near the line, and as you'll see, this dude comes up behind me, drafting me, and just shoots by me like crazy. And, I'll, and I will admit, I was a little bit upset about it and I tried to cut him off and wreck him out because I felt like I deserved first place because I was in first for a long, long time and I was a little bit annoyed. But at the same time, it's just something that you have to be like okay with because it is GTA 5, there is that drafting system and there's a very good chance that you could get passed right at the end of the track. I drafted off of him and passed him back and then he passed me right back afterwards so I feel like I, I maybe should have stayed behind him a little bit longer and kind of drafted a little bit more strategically, but you can see right here, he just rockets past. And then I tried to go for it, it didn't really work, and we crossed the line in second place. Now onto the final race, Downtown Loop. It's very, very technical. This final race, super technical. That's why I saved it for last, and it's also super entertaining. A little, little bit tricky too. So when you get into this race, this race is all about the stunts. It's all about the tricks, it's all about the stunts. If you're not comfortable with loops, I would not ever recommend this track. This track is a loop paradise. Um, if you enjoy loops, then do it. And by the way, that is how you pass an opponent. You jump over them, right over them. Don't even care, just right over the freaking head. It's all good. But as you can see already, this track is very track mania. Very, very, very track mania. So, uh, split it out. Come on, get yourself back on the track. What are you doing? Can't get. What are you doing? But no. Anyway, very, very Trackmania style. You going right up the side of the buildings, getting on the boot strips, getting back down the loop. Not even any like, not even any transition between the two. It's just like you are going to stunt on this map. You are going to stunt like crazy. Okay, I was like, I was trying to remember. Did I land on him or not? And I was like, ah, 
Uh, almost, and then no. Drafting into a loop is a little bit of a tricky business because if you misjudge it, you will send yourself off the side of a loop and you'll be pissed. You'll be super pissed with yourself. Either, well, either with yourself or with the opponent because, trust me, it's not a pretty sight, but it is a pretty sight when all of your opponents take themselves out directly in front of you and you just skate right past them and you're like, oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, I'm into this. This is good. This is awesome. I am totally on board. The only thing, too, with this particular with this particular race is with it being a multi-lap, that kind of adds to the danger factor a little bit because, if, like, with the danger factor of where you finish, because you can lead the whole first lap, but if you mess up that last lap, I mean, who gives a crap? Because you're done, you know? Your, 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 your podium finish is gone. 100% just dead. Death. Doom. Doomed. Wow, that video got really, really... God, that went to a place that I did not expect it to go very quickly. But, like I said, like I said, the thing with this race is with a multi-lap, as you get into it, you'll kind of get used to the lap structure and it, it, it kind of becomes a little bit less crazy the more you go on. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, this particular video. Don't forget to click that like button if you did. I'll be posting more GTA Cutting stunts very soon. And again, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.